Welcome back to the Nikki Clark Show. The show is about conversations that matter, and we invite people from all walks of life to come and share their heart stories, their stories of empowerment, inspiration, and upliftment. And it's always a thrill to meet these innovative, just I, I just outstanding individuals. Uh, come and, and share a little bit about uh, what uh, they have done to reach into their place of the sun. And uh, I'm super excited to, uh, sh- you know, introduce a business connection specialist. Shannon Procise has successfully attained over 3.2 million in free publicity. 3.2 million in free publicity, and is notorious for being the owner of the Million Dollar Rolodex and teaching others how to do the same. And she's trained and coached thousands of individuals in marketing, event production, business development, and personal growth. Shannon is the creator of a magnetic community, the Business Acceleration Network, where she guides businesses to build a successful enterprise while having fun and making lots of money. Shannon, welcome to the show. Thank you, Nikki. I'm so grateful to be here. Awesome. Thank you so much. And uh, I, I love love, love, love the million dollar Rolodex. I can't wait for you to tell us a little bit more about what that is. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's so amazing to connect with you and thank you so much for your time. I know you're very busy and it's very much appreciated that you can share a little bit of who you are and what you're doing with us today. Wonderful. Thank you for the opportunity. I love your work and what you're doing in the world. Awesome. Thank you, Shannon. So let's get to it. Tell us a little bit about uh, who you are and what led you to what you're doing today as a business connection specialist and also uh, co-author of The Law of Business Attraction. Tell us about that. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Nikki. So, um, you know, in in my 20s, I had a um, holistic MD actually prescribe on a prescription pad to go to a firewalk. And at first I thought she was totally crazy. Um, you know, I was getting ready to move to Florida and she's like, you have to change your plans. You don't have to walk. You just have to, you know, you just have to watch. And, and that was the, the big pivot and turning point in my life. I went that night to the event and um, I was just blown away by what is what we're told is impossible, seeing it be possible. Um, I, I fell in love with with the uh, what happens when people come together with a shared vision of of transformation and, and healing. And so from that from that point, it was kind of the kickoff. I ended up moving to Florida and and started um, doing events and bringing in firewalk instructors, and then eventually went into doing conferences and 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 here I am today having produced over 400 events and on that journey um, that was what really helped develop and create the million dollar Rolodex and I know if you have any millennials or younger people they're like what is a Rolodex? It's another term for, <laughs> yeah. for contact What's a Rolodex? List, but it's, <laughs> it's those old machines that we used to put on our desk and you can kind of turn it and it, you know it have ABC and, and now we all use our phones but um, yes. you know, a number of years ago I had somebody tag me Um, one of my mentors saying, oh my gosh, I can call you for anything. She goes, I've never met anybody that that you have really successful even celebrity connections, but also if I ever get stuck or I ever needed help, you're always the first person that comes to mind. And and she goes, and you haven't, you always have a resource. So that's where Mm -hmm. it it, it came about. And then the, the million dollars in free publicity, millions of dollars is, is when you do events, you obviously have to learn how to get people there. <laughs> and so I, exactly. you know, I, I had, you know, found a way to kind of crack that code and, and took an event that, you know, conference we were doing for a number of years where we could easily get 500 people there. But once we learned this, this free publicity strategy, wrote a press release, um, and, and in one year, and with one press release being picked up by multiple mediums, um, we t- went from 500 to 2,000 attendees. Fantastic. Wow. That, that, is, that is impressive. So, you know, Shannon, I, I am just amazed. I can, 
I can feel your energy. I can, you know, sense the excitement, the passion that you have for what you do, which is really important uh, when it comes to being, you know, engaged in your passion project. Uh, but I want to ask you a little bit about what you said earlier about uh, creating events for the firewalk. Now, just for my own curiosity, I've seen it. But I'd like you maybe to share what that experience is. A fire walk is actually walking on fire. And why would anyone actually walk through fire? With fire walks, um, I could absolutely write a book on it because it's something that I, <laughs> I produce um, about 20 events. And, and so what it is is you actually, you know, there's a, there's a whole process and, the, and there's different ways of doing it. There's the Anthony Robbins way, which is, you know, a 40-foot uh, walk on hot coals, and, and the way that I studied was with, a, with somebody who actually um, practiced personal transformation in Native American. And so it was um, the process of, of building the fire. Um, you know, we would write on our boards things that we wanted to break through or release. Um, we would light the fire. We would say certain prayers, and, and, and it, would, it would wait until it got down to coals, and they would rake it out and, and, and walk on it. And so why, it was a great question, why would people do that? So what I've found over the years is that walking on fire rewires the human brain. We've been told over and over mm-hmm. again that certain things are impossible, We've been yes. told, you know, certain stories that this is a fact. And so mm. once, at least for me, once I realized, wow, I can actually walk on fire and not get burned, what else have I been told that's not true? So that's, that's yes. one piece. Like it really is empowering. The other thing is, is, is and, and this is my story around it. I don't know the science or the truth around it, but it actually heals the body. And I, my belief is, is that your body heats up like when you have a fever. And so it, it can literally heal. You know, I've heard stories of it healing cancer, um, healing various things in, in people's bodies, various elements. So that's another piece. And then, and then the other reason why somebody would do this is I found for me that it's a very powerful manifesting tool. I used to go there with, um, with, you know, this is my intention. This is what I want to manifest. And it was, it was like it would just amp it up and make that come into reality um, really quick. And there's so, I mean, I, like I said, I could write a book on fire walking. It's pretty powerful. <laughs> Wow, I, I'm just trying to envision myself walking through the coals, but I think I could do it. it you know, I, like if I pick up the pace and just, you know, dart through. Like it, it's not a very, it's not very long, right? Like would you say a few feet of walking through? Yeah. So, um, so most of them, you know, like Anthony Robbins is 40 feet, and I've done some that are the mm-hmm. 40 feet. These are usually, you know, six to seven feet, and you. Absolutely okay. need to do it with somebody that's, that's qualified because there's a certain type of wood that's gentler than others. You know, mind over matter, you mm-hmm. can walk on any wood. But, um, but there, you know, one of the other lessons, Nikki, that I learned is, is keeping your eye on the goal. So, like, we didn't look down. Mm-hmm. We didn't look back. You look at that person at the end of the fire with their arms open ready to give you a hug. You know, wow. and, and, that's and a there's a powerful, there, powerful image right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and there's so much symbolism in that. Like you said, it's like leaving uh, the the past experiences in the past, moving forward, and having someone embrace you at the end. That is a beautiful yes. image. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, and just just so you know, it's just as much power to go and watch a fire walk. You don't necessarily have. You know, I I the other thing that I learned, Nikki, is that that in life, if it's a 99 percent no it's still a mm-hmm. no. And so, mm-hmm. so it's, it's very important in the fire walking that you have to get that 100% yes and that calling and that, that peace. I mean, I know, again, I keep bringing up Anthony Robbins, like everybody does it. And, and that, mm-hmm. you know, that's, that's, I'm not knocking it. I just know for, for me that, that when people le- learn to tune in and listen to that yes at 100%, it's it's a breeze. It's when you when you waffle or when you you do it because of ego. I got to do this because everybody else is doing it. Or there's anything that's not other than your your inner guide. That's where you can mm-hmm. get what we call fire kisses. 
Fire kisses. I love that. Absolutely <laughs> love that. <laughs> so, you, you know, Shannon, um, I was thinking that uh, in, in the in what I've been doing over the last uh, almost 13 years and having people like yourself, uh, amazing um, individuals doing phenomenal work, uh, there's one thing that I ask, actually two, a headshot and a bio. And it, it's amazing how uh, even how, how we're accomplished you are uh, in what you're doing. There's some people who still have challenges in putting together a you know, comprehensive yet uh, appealing bio. And now that's something that you help people do. Can you talk about the bio and then maybe also uh, if you can share a little bit about how to uh, craft a really amazing press release because that kind of, they work together in, in, in trying to get people placed in, in good positions of publicity. So let's talk about the bio. Uh, how do you craft that? And then we'll talk about the press release. Wonderful. Thank you, Nikki. It is one of the most difficult things that people have. I've found that, that it's where I usually like to start with working with people because they, they, they have a hard time talking about themselves or they think, oh, my mm-hmm. past doesn't have anything to do with my present. And so there's a lot of um, stories that people tell themselves that, that isn't really true <laughs> and doesn't yes. really support them. So I actually offer for free on my, on my website um, 13 questions or 12, you know, there's 12 steps. I've added a 13th one that gets people to think about some of the key things in their, in their bio. And so I find that, you know, when we add numbers and when we add, um, you know, a story or even where we maybe overcame adversity, um, you know, there's, there's certain things that, that we can put in our bio that can really help people connect with us and, and be heartfelt. So I usually help people you know, or what I suggest is, is create a long bio first. You know, create something mm-hmm. that, that could be five to six paragraphs. Now, you're not going to use that for everything, but I have probably 30 or 40 bios depending on what I'm using it for. If somebody wants to talk to me about events, they don't need to know that I can help them raise capital, so I'm not going to share that piece with them. Ah, and so okay. I, you know, I, so I, it's not one bio fits all. Like, you can have many bios. Yes, yes, and you and you want to, but you start with the long one so that you can extract the bits and pieces that will be applicable mm-hmm. for where, wherever you're wherever you're going. Got it. Okay. And then and then in this process, I you know I tell people there's two ways to overcome that you know that little storyteller in our head is one is um, mm-hmm. you know either have a friend or family interview you for those questions and go through and pull things out of you. It's good if you kind of go through it first yourself. And, and, and usually I invite people, get a notebook, put a question on, on each page to, to answer it, you know, look over it every day, maybe 10, 15 minutes, because if, and I say if an idea comes up, it goes down, even if it doesn't make any sense. Like I had a friend, you know, or, you know, a client who was a professional arm wrestler, and she was like, this has <laughs> wow. nothing to do with I'm, what I'm doing with right now. And I'm like, if it comes up, it goes down. <laughs> and we were able to put that in her, in her bio, and it really just it made it fun. It made her stand out. It was a, a great conversation piece. Um, so that's some of the suggestions. Was that helpful? Absolutely, absolutely. I love that. And, you know, typically if you want to do a short bio, would you say one paragraph, two paragraphs? How long is a short bio uh, compared to a longer bio? Um, yeah, so I, if you can get it to one to two paragraphs, but I always follow what, what is it for? What do they need? You know, like mm-hmm. I will ask for specifics. Like I, I had the honor of being on your show, and I love to hear that you've been doing this 13 years. You're an absolute pro. No wonder you can coach people in how to do podcasts <laughs> and, and, and TV and all that you do because you're, you're an expert. You've probably seen the, the good and the bad. And so ideally, I always ask, what does the individual want? Because sometimes they only want three sentences, right? So, yeah. so yeah. You, you know, you use it to, to match whatever – the the medium asks for. Understood, understood. Okay, uh, now, so let's talk about uh, the press release. And when would you use a press release? Um, every week. 
<laughs> all the time. Um, um, we we all have we all have really. Uh, I don't know. I just for me a press release is like turning on the faucet for customers and credibility. Mm-hmm. And, mm. and I found that, that you know, I like to focus on these three particular elements with a press release. We have a lot of negative news. We have a lot of stories that are going on, and, and they, they do get publicity. I focus on um, either community give back. You know, if there's something that you're doing in the community, um, the, you know, media loves that, especially local media, which can lead to, to bigger media. Um, the second thing is um, human interest stories. If there's a, and everybody's had this also where maybe they've had a challenge in how they've overcome it. And that's, that's another angle that, that can be really powerful um, to have people get to know you and get free publicity. And then the third one, which everybody has, is an education piece. You know, we, we, mm-hmm. we're, whatever we're doing, we can find some sort of education that we can, we can share. And then there's regular announcements. There could be expansion announcements. You, maybe you won an award. Um, maybe you've done a patent. Or, you know, there's, there's various things that you can, you can do to attract publicity. So I focus on those three stories. And, um, and if you're doing an event, there's, there's various pieces that you can, you can tie in there. But with the press release, um, I do it different than everybody else. There's the AP style, which is great, um, but the style that, that, that I suggest is something that when the media sees it, they're like, what is this? <laughs> mm-hmm. Who wrote this? Because there's no logos. There's no selling. It's basically the very top is the headline. It's all on one piece of paper, and it's double-spaced. And most people, most people are challenged with writing double, you know, double space because you have to be really concise with your words. And, yeah. um, and there's, you, know, you want to quote whoever's doing this as an expert. But what happens is, is these press releases stand out, and most of the time they, pick, they, they do an interview, which gets you way more publicity than if they could just cut and paste AP style. Mm-hmm. Okay, that is really amazing information um wow that that kind of really opened up my uh my mind to that because um i i I find a lot of people do follow the apa style feeling that is you know their comfort zone in terms of what people are looking for but i never really thought that uh even to have like the aesthetically pleasing (laughs) uh you know double space uh, would you know draw more attention, but it makes absolute sense because um, Shelley, I you know I was thinking back in my teaching years when I was a college professor, and and it was it was spelled out at the beginning of the term. You have to have double space, and it has to be this size font, um, not only to help them organize uh, the, the the document or the essay, but for the person marking. So yes, that makes absolute sense. You know that uh, it, it just makes things so much easier for for the sender and the reader. So thank you for sharing that. That's that's great. Yeah. That was an and, aha and on one, moment for me for sure. <laughs> and on one page, that's the other piece. Making sure that it's on a yes. single page. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Good. Okay. Breaking no, some rules that's here. Very that's helpful. what we're about. Is breaking some <laughs> some normal <laughs> some rules to stand out. Absolutely, absolutely, and and that's why you've been, you know, so uh, so successful in uh, you know the years in, in connecting people. I, I know that you've you brought together social entrepreneurs, visionaries, uh, thought leaders, and uh, you know, in in the spirit of collaboration to create a better world and uh, focus on prosperity, uh, so that they can continue to pay it forward and. And make a positive impact in the world. So I can, I definitely uh, am very, you know, honored to have you on the show. And and thank you so much for what you've shared. Uh, and I know that people want to know more about what you're doing. So how can people meet you on social media? I have. If you go to meetshannon.com, it you'll be able to access all of my social media. You'll even be able to access to text or schedule or and some free gifts there, but if you go to meetshannon.com, that'll just be a direct link to all the social media. Fantastic. All right. Well, Shannon, uh, been a pleasure 
I, I'm very grateful, and uh, I just want to, you know, encourage you to keep doing great things, and I hope we can stay connected. Yes, Nikki, and thank you for what you do to help people. I know what I love about you, if I can add this real quick, is that, that even though we're in similar, um, you know, similar things, that you know the power of collaborating and sharing and getting messages out. And I, I, I've watched you. I've looked at what you're doing. I think people really should pay attention and share. And, and I, I, you know, from what I saw, I'm like, oh, my gosh, you could fill in a lot of gaps with some of you know, my clients and what I'm doing. So thank you for having a similar mission of helping people get their message out and, and having that impact. I, I just I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you so much, Shannon. It's, uh, it's a pleasure. All right, so Shannon, I wish you all the best. Uh, we're definitely going to uh, connect at some, t- at some point, and please stay safe until the next time. Thank you. Okay, bye for now.